Hey guys, it's Lunatic Lion, and today I'm gonna show you how to be Green Day. So we're gonna go over the most important aspects of the band and in the end you'll hear my attempt on sounding like Green Day. I'm gonna concentrate on the Dookie and American Idiot Green Day to get a more specific sound. So let's start with the drums. If you wanna play the drums like Trey Cool, you're gonna play a lot of straight beats and straight fills. For example, he plays a lot of 8th and 16th linear fills on the snare on the tom and long snare rolls. He likes to accentuate his hi-hat and right beats with crash cymbals to support the guitar chord changes. And be sure to bash the shit out of your hi-hat as fast as you can with one hand. Now let's analyze what Mike Dern plays on the bass. You just gotta like... Perfect. He uses a Fender Precision Bass a lot and a pick to get the nice grinding punk bass tone. Most of the time he just follows the chord progression and Trey's drumming and adds creative fills on the guitar chord changes. To build suspense he slides up an octave, like right before choruses for example. Now let's take a look at Billy Joe and how he plays guitar. On American Idiot he used a Gibson Les Paul Jr. but also uses his famous Strat called Blue. Now obviously power chords. The key to a classic Green Day song is filling it with a power chord progression. Palm mute for the verses and open them up for the chorus, as simple as that. Sometimes we have one note melodies and sometimes we have the octave played on the A and G string sliding around and harmonizing to the chords. And playing a Green Day solo isn't that hard, just follow along the vocal melody and add some little variations on top. Keep your guitar distorted at all times and use an acoustic for softer songs. And with all that we're ready to add some vocals to it. They often write about politics, which would be a good place to start, but for this video I took a random assortment of words and phrases they like to use and put them together in a weird compilation. We need a catchy melody for the chorus and of course some harmonizing by Mike in the background. And don't forget to add the typical or the And if you're performing live, then throw in some If you want to sound like Dookie Billy Joe, you gotta use your nasal voice and don't be shy to use some swear words here and there. So, right, I think we got it. Follow these tips and you'll be quite decent Green Day cover band. Just wear black shirts and red ties and interact with the crowd a whole lot. But it'll be probably best if you don't put out three albums at once. And be sure to include at least one Bohemian Rhapsody style song in each album that's over five minutes and changes its style multiple times. Now let me show you what I came up with. So thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. If you want to see more videos like that, let me know in the comments. And for more musical content, please subscribe. And you can also follow me on Instagram if you want to see updates on stuff I do, like new videos and new covers and the album I'm currently working on. Following me would be much appreciated and trying to grow my channel and subscribing would be awesome as well. Thank you.